for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Well, welcome back to our series of videos on the CSS box model properties. In this video, we want to talk a little bit about alignment. Now, if you want to align something with CSS, normally all you have to do is use the text align property. For example, you can see here I have a level 1 heading, and it's aligned to the left. I can go ahead and click here and create a tag style for H1, and the property that I'm going to use is going to be text align. I select center, complete my style, and now you can see that text is centered on the page. Now that will work for text, but if I come along here and place this on a div, let's say I put that in there, for box number one, you're going to see that it aligns the text inside of the div, but it doesn't change the alignment for the div. So I'll go ahead and take that on out of there, and now I'm back to normal. So to align a div, you're actually going to use the margin property. And what you want to do is you want to specify something special for the left and the right property. So I've gone ahead and I've said I want 20 pixels of padding left and right. And since I've only got one value there, it's going to do left, right, top, and bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that 20 pixels of padding in there, and then go ahead and enter auto for left and right. Remember, the first value is going to be top and bottom. Second value will be left and right, unless there's only one value then that one value is top, bottom, left, and right. So I've got that there, and what I've said is auto here. What that basically means is automatically make both the left and the right sides even. When I click, you're going to see that that div moved over, and it's now centered in the available area. If I change the amount of space, you can see that the div adjusts, as well as that heading right up there at the top. So as far as centering a div, you're just going to use the auto property on margin. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality, so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.